All right, from the box of recently digitized tapes, T Classic TV number 11, there were a bunch of unsold pilots shown on August 8th, 1990. And I'm going to take care of uh, two of the three of them aren't on YouTube. This bottom one here, New, new Attitude with Shirley Ralph, that one is on YouTube, so I, no, no reason for me to. But this Mulberry Street starring Connie Selica and Cesar Romero, the Joker. I don't know if it's his last role, but close. Also, Carmine from Laverne and Shirley, Eddie Mecca. And then you got Joelle Fisher, and I'm forgetting what a sitcom she was in. She, she, after this, she hooked up with something that she was a star in. Uh, you guys can tell me. I'm spacing out here. And, and all this stuff I do stream of consciousness. I don't, I don't write anything down, as you can tell. But I did write stuff down when I recorded all these things, and that's what's important. And I love the ones where I was chopping up TV guides. At one point, I She's upstairs in the apartment. What happened? Well, ask your brother. It's a tell me. For <laughs> two years, I keep the door to my store open. Nothing goes wrong. He takes over, puts up a, a buzzer, lets the thief in, and locks my customers out. His customers, you hear that? He gives the business to me. They're still his customers. Yeah, he pushed me out. What out? He's still here. Daddy, you retired, remember? We had a party, I sculpt her and everything. Oh, sure, take his side. Retire means you don't go to work. You sit home in your pajamas and eat cereal. <laughs> Look at her, big fancy job uptown. No, she's an expert on retiring. You see, he's not going to give the store to me. Don't pay attention to him. Oh, sure, take his side. Yeah, tomorrow I take down this sign. I'm changing Savoy and son to son and stupid old man who ran this store all his life with no help from nobody, whose poor father died on the boat coming over to this country and... Yes, yes! <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Now we don't have to listen to how, oh, when I was a young boy and I grew up on the street, nobody cared if I lived at the... <laughs> <laughs> ah! Oh, my God, I left you standing here. What? Joanne, you all right? Are you serious? I loved it. For the first 10 minutes of my life, I didn't have to hear my husband argue with your father. <laughs> I always miss the good stuff. Come on, let's untie my kids. You get Mia, I'll get Joseph. Mia, honey, you all right? Aunt Connie, it was the worst experience of my entire life. I totally freaked. I can't stop trembling. I walked in from beauty school, and oh, wait till you hear. Today we learned razor cuts. I'll give you one after dinner. <laughs> I'm skipping dinner. Thanks, Ma. <laughs> Joseph, he took my engagement ring. Oh, Rosalie. <laughs> my beloved, don't, don't cry. Without a ring, no. He's never gonna believe I'm really engaged. <laughs> I'll buy even a bigger one. Yeah? How big? <laughs> Maybe we could get Mario to steal you another one. Nah, I just go down to Mario's pawn shop and buy it back. Whoa, 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 whoa. Who is this Mario? He's the robber. 
You're on a first name basis with the thief? Of course. Mario robs us all the time. No, he does. He, so he only comes around when he needs something. You know, like family. Oh, and people wonder why I moved back home. I save a fortune on entertainment. <laughs> Joseph, yes. untie your father. Oh, shit. You had to wait for your mother to say that? what I do? You make me sick. what I do? Who was picking on your son? What are you picking on him? Excuse me, but did Mario take any money? Hey, look, Dad. This time Mario didn't steal any of your cannolis. Oh, what's the matter with him? I make great cannolis. I tell you, too runny. Well, you and Mario are the only two who think so. Okay, so he was too busy for a snack. But did he take any money? He's a robber. I think so. So now we're getting somewhere. How much did he take, Joseph? No, I mean, I think they're too runny. Yeah. <laughs> I can't look. Is anybody dead? Everybody's fine, Aunt Carmella. Oh, thank God. My God, I couldn't believe it. I was leaning out my window across the street, listening to the Cipatelli's <laughs> fight. You know, he came home drunk again, and that's the third time this week. Then I said, hooligan, come in the store. I almost had a heart attack. Oh, good, then you called the police? Of course not. I mind my own business. <laughs> You know, your brother Tony, may he rest in peace. He always said, Carmela, my love, don't stick your nose in my family. But are you crazy? You think he wanted you to watch me get robbed and you don't do nothing? Uh, oh. Mia, honey, go call my mother. Tell her we'll be right upstairs for supper. Sure, Aunt Connie. Really? Your cannolis are too runny. Yeah, what do you know about cannoli? Come on, everybody. Let's help close up the store. I'm going, Joseph. And forget about the movie tonight. I can't go out without my ring. But it'll be dark. No, it's too humiliating. Hey, Joseph, come and help me fix those tomato cans. Your father stacked them all wrong. They're going to fall on your head, and I'm going to have to take you to the emergency room. Yeah, well, at least I'll be unconscious. <laughs> hey, Connie, I saw your big shot boss in People magazine again. Uh, they say that he's out trumping Donald Trump. Yeah, I think so. He just bought himself a little something to go with his boat. Lake Michigan. <laughs> so, Connie, this guy is great. When are you going to make a move on it? I told you, Joanne, it is a professional relationship. I am his assistant. That's all. You're nuts. He's an endangered species. I say shoot him with a stun gun and strap him to the hood of your car. <laughs> Grandma's not answering upstairs. Well, that can't be. My mother never goes out. Yeah, she's always up there. She's been kidnapped. Pray to St. Anthony. Oh, my God, and my mother's missing. Okay, uh, uh, call the police. No, call the FBI. Oh, my poor little mother, she's so helpless. She's so sweet. Ah, shut up, Vincent. You make too much noise. <laughs> Mama. Thank God you're alive. Uh, Camilla, get out of my sight. What? Uh, don't make what? me use this. <laughs> but she's gone berserk. I knew it. That's what happens when you don't take hormones. <laughs> Ma, please. What's the matter? Have you gone crazy? You dare to speak to me while I have a weapon in my hand? What do I do? Ma, what's the matter? Oh, nothing. Just my marriage of 42 years is over. And I have you to thank for it. What do I do? Out of my way. I have to pack. Where are you going? To get a divorce. Divorce? What about my dinner? <laughs> bon appetit. <laughs> Good. I'm glad you're home. I thought you stopped smoking. I did. It's not lit. I'm weaning myself. It's working, too. I'm down to not smoking half a pack a day. Where is she? I hate that. What? You're always calling Ma she. Oh, she's a she, isn't she? Yeah, it's just that she has a name, that's all. You knew who I was talking about? Of course. Good. Where is she? <laughs> She's moved upstairs in Vincent's apartment. She's leaving you. Who? Mommy, who else? I don't know. You said she. <laughs> Calm down. Use your biofeedback. When she's tired of acting stupid, she'll be back downstairs. Here, I got pork chops. What do you want me to do with them? <laughs> Take them to a movie. <laughs> you cook them. No wonder you don't have a husband. That is so cute. Cute? I'm cooking since I was in diapers. You think I grew up on Easy Street like you bunch? <laughs> what did I do? Someday you'll learn. Connie, we have to talk. Oh, you're gonna be so mad. Why? It's the worst. 
This morning we found out why Keep Grandma... Keep it down in front of you know who. You know who couldn't care less. <laughs> okay. I've solved the mystery. Oh, you're going to be so mad. Oh. Rosalie, I'm going to stuff this pork chop up your nose. <laughs> Let me start by saying that I am not proud of what I did. I even told it in confession. I thought that would do it, but no such luck. I said 20 Hail Marys for nothing. <laughs> Will you please get to it? Okay, I'll just blurt it out. It was about a year ago. Maybe a year and a half. Ma, I, let me. I blurt faster. Aunt Connie, you told Ma that when you were five years old, you saw Grandpa kissing Aunt Carmella. There, it's off my chest. Joanne, how could you? I told you that in confidence. Wait a minute. I told you a lot of things in confidence. Don't worry, she didn't tell me about Bill in Toronto. <laughs> okay. Just tell me how this story got back to my mother. All I did was I told Grandma that I admire her for looking the other way that time you caught you-know-who kissing Aunt Carmella. Are you mad? <laughs> I want to die. And I want to take you with me. <laughs> and I want to go. Pass me the garlic bread, will you? <laughs> Okay, so let's not turn this into a big deal. After all, what actually happened? So a little innocent girl with a big imagination thinks she saw her father kissing her aunt. So she runs into her room, hides under the covers, and tries to forget about it. You forgot the anisette. <laughs> but she can't. It keeps festering, day after day, like a fungus that grows and grows, year in, year out. See if she has any of those pastries left from last night. <laughs> but I, for one, am actually happy for that little girl that it's now all out in the open. Because now, her daddy can come up with some explanation. Like, it wasn't a real kiss. It was a New Year's Eve kiss. And now he's on his way upstairs to tell her mommy. You following me on this, Daddy? You know something, Conchetta? You're my only daughter, and I love you. Oh, and I love you too, Daddy. But don't call me Conchetta. But you take after your mother's side. Those people all have a screw loose. <laughs> That's all you can say? Well, what do you want? I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Look, I've always had, uh, what do you call it, uh, charisma for the ladies. All my life, women chase me. What can I say? They can't keep their hands off me. <laughs> so maybe once in a weak moment, 25 years ago, I had too much wine, and I did that dog Carmilla a favor and kissed her. <laughs> Must have been a barrel of wine. <laughs> anyway, who remembers? One mistake in 42 years she's gonna hold against me? Now leave me alone. My program's on. I'm missing the designing women. <laughs> doing sitting out here in the hall? You have a fight with Joanne? No, she hasn't gotten around to me yet. She's still fighting with Ma. Ma sleeping on the couch? No, I am. Ma moved in with Mia. Oh, Mamma Mia. <laughs> you see, you see, it's just like you to make fun of a mess you made. All right, goodbye, I'm going. Hey, no offense, Connie, I love you. But everything was going smooth around this house until you moved back home. Oh. You know what's too bad, Vincent? Your sibling rivalry hasn't receded along with your hairline. Wow. <laughs> now, you ever wonder sometimes how we come from the same parents and we're so different? What? I stay awake nights worrying that we're not that different at all. No, no, no. no. For instance, for instance, I don't understand why you didn't marry the doctor. Oh, Vincent, please, not the doctor again. What was wrong with him? He was a nice guy. He wanted kids. He drove a Buick Regal. I don't get it. I wanted more, that's all. Oh, you want more? What more? There is no more. That's what life is. He didn't make me weak in the knees, okay? You know what your problem is? Your problem is you're too independent. And someday when your insides dry up, you'll be sorry you live like a man. <laughs> I can't help it. I just don't want to settle. I want to be madly in love. I want... I want passion, like mommy and daddy. Get out of here. <laughs> Why? You never noticed they were hot for each other? What? How could you talk like that about your own parents? <laughs> Vincent, 
When we were little? Every Saturday morning, they used to go in the bedroom and lock the door. You really think they were listening to opera? I don't want to hear this. Uh-uh. Didn't any of those high notes sound vaguely familiar? Get out of here! Oh, yeah, they blast the Pagliacci! Oh, say, can you see? Pagliacci, you're weird, you know that? I'm weird? Yeah, Me? yeah, weird. Oh, yeah? Who got kicked out of St. Mary's for insisting God's first name was Howard? <laughs> well, I... Howard be thy name? Well, I... <laughs> come on, don't, 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 come on, don't, don't, I hate that, stop it, will you? What's going on out there? Nothing, she started it. Did not? You too. Well, cut it out before somebody gets hurt. See? You uh -huh. told the thing. Uh -huh. Hey, Conchetta, don't make it any worse, huh? I'm just gonna try to patch things up. And don't call me Conchetta, Vincenzo. <laughs> <laughs> Ma, can I come in? Do what you want, I don't care. What's that you're reading? Smart women, foolish choices. <laughs> so I won't marry the same kind of man twice. It's easy to develop a pattern. Ma, I can explain this whole mess. Oh, why bother? It's the nature of the beast. He'll just go from Aunt Camilla to some other hussy. <laughs> no, no, listen. I know the truth now. I had the whole thing wrong. It's nothing. You see, it was the night Uncle Tony died. Aunt Carmela tried to jump out the window. Daddy grabbed her. They fell on the floor. That's when I walked in. <laughs> Can you believe it? I got the whole thing wrong. His own mother warned me he was a carouser. <laughs> but I didn't listen. I should hate him, but even now I look at him, I get weak in the knees. Ma, did you hear anything I said? When I think of the things I did to hold that man's interest, he likes blondes. I went blonde. <laughs> he thinks I'm too thin, so I struggle to put on weight. <laughs> he wants me to sleep in the nude, so I bought a dimmer. A dimmer? Ah, oh, there's plenty you can learn from me. <laughs> yes, yeah, sure, Ma. He was no angel, believe me. You have no idea what goes on behind closed doors. God, forgive me the things we do for love. I don't think I want to hear this. <laughs> the things I did to please that man. Ma, stop, please. Oh, for God's sake, if I can't talk to you, then who the hell can I talk to? I remember a rainy night last week. He said, Oh, Mary, say, can you see? <laughs> I understand. No one likes to picture their own parents. But all parents do, you know. Except my parents. <laughs> Oh, Ma, can we get back to the subject? I mean, you were happy with Daddy for 42 years. Doesn't that count for anything? You don't get it, do you? I was in the dark. It makes me the fool. Oh, but I'll have my revenge. Wait till he tastes her tomato sauce. You are my little vitty boy. You're ex scrambled. Not too hard and not too runny. Just the way you like it. Thanks, Ma. What a treat. A treat? A lousy scrambled egg. <laughs> what have you done to my kitchen? Where are my mugs? I moved them to a better spot. Where's my Mr. Coffee? I threw it in Mr. Trash Can. <laughs> but I left your microwave so you can still thaw out Mr. Dinner. <laughs> What's he doing here? I invited him up for breakfast. He was eating all alone down there, Ma. He doesn't need to eat. Leave him alone. He's hungry. He has a name. <laughs> here, give him this. Scrambled eggs. Scrambled eggs turned my stomach. I know. <laughs> Joseph, what are you doing? Your mother doesn't make your breakfast? I just want coffee. Well, sit down, Grandma. I'll get it for you. Hey, great. Get up and get your own coffee. I thought Grandma was gonna get it. I know, but you're the hope of the future. I'm trying to break the mold here. <laughs> this is how you let your wife raise your son? Ma, leave me alone, will you? You could wait on me, Grandma. Don't be smart. Get up and get your father some more coffee. <laughs> you're back together? I am so happy. Mm -hmm. He's just your brother's guest. Oh. Well, happiness isn't all it's cracked up to be. <laughs> this 
Ghost of Elvis marries Roseanne Barr. <laughs> Bet they make these things up. <laughs> Mommy, Daddy, I'm moving out. Why? Because it's been pointed out to me that every time there's trouble around here, I seem to be the one who's caused it. So I thought it'd be better for all of us if I just move out. With both of us gone, who's gonna take care of your father? Yeah. You know, when Michael and I broke up, I thought, what am I doing sitting in this big empty apartment all alone when I've got this terrific family right down here on Mulberry Street? I missed you guys. We do have a lovely family. <laughs> but look at me. Veins popping out of my head, my teeth are ground down to the bones, and my fingernails are all chewed off. Please, I'm eating. I guess I just forgot what we're like. What's wrong with us? <laughs> She'll give you something to eat, you'll feel better. Who cares? I'm leaving. No, no, you're not. Oh, yes, I am. Oh, no, you're not. No one leaves while they're living under this roof. God, you people yell a lot. I'm not yelling. I'm just talking loud so I could be heard above everybody else yelling. They get that from her side of the family. My side doesn't yell. We have very refined voices. Oh, so that's where I inherited that from. <laughs> Too bad you didn't inherit brains. <laughs> Listen to that. Is there any way to talk? Oh, well, Miss Park Avenue, teach us how to speak finishing school talk. Hoity toity la di da and. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Salami, Baloney, Runny, Cannoli, Schmoly. <laughs> to you, too. I think they're demented. <laughs> oh, my God, would you look at me? Look how you make me act. What would you make me do? They got me again. I am not like this. This is the only place I am like this. I am a career woman. I am sophisticated. I go to meetings. People respect me. I watch PBS. <laughs> God, I've got to sit down. I need a cigarette. Here's a breadstick, Aunt Connie. Do you smoke whole wheat? <laughs> Bless you, Joseph. I've had enough of this craziness. I want you to come home right now. Never. Ma, just do it, please. You've got a rare and unique opportunity here. You could be the first member of the Savoya family to make a sane and rational move. Because if you don't, I'm going to jump out that window. <laughs> come downstairs. We'll talk. Oh, all right. You got five minutes. Strictly business, no sweet talk. Mm -hmm. I promise. And keep your hands off my dimmer. Oh. <laughs> oh, thank God. Keep your fingers crossed. You're not really going to leave, are you, Aunt Connie? I don't know. Leave me alone. Come on, Connie. Stick around. I was just getting used to having my baby sister living back home. Besides, if you leave, I gotta take the subway all the way uptown to give you my special noogie. Yeah, I don't wanna have to wait that long for a noogie. I guess I'll have to stay. Good. I'm glad that's settled, because we wear the same size. In your dreams. I hope it's going well downstairs. Grandpa's in a really tough spot. Oh, man. I wouldn't wanna be in his shoes right now. Thank you for watching Cleveland Live Music. If you like what you see, hit the subscribe button or there's further patronage information in the video description below. Help me, Pokey. Subscribe so this dog will let go of me. Pokey!